So hi Julians, it's been a while since I filmed a makeup tutorial. Please don't mind how nasally I sound. Unfortunately, your girl has a cold. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amina. I give you face fits and flair, honey, okay? If you're interested in beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, this is the place to be. The vibes over here are unmatched. You're gonna love it here, okay? Like, you're just gonna love it here. As you guys read by the title, this is gonna be a drugstore makeup tutorial. And I even to toot my own horn. This is what y'all be saying about me. The face card never declines. And I know how to put a mug on. So enough of me talking, let's just get right into it. If you don't know, I'm a brows before face type of girl, so I have to get my brows situated. I have my eyebrows microbladed, but my hairs are very, very curly, and even though I got my eyebrows started literally a week ago, they're curling downward, they look messy, they can be annoying sometimes, but I love the fact that I have my eyebrows microbladed because I don't have to fill them in. And prior to getting my eyebrows microbladed, doing my eyebrows was the longest step in my makeup routine. Now that I have them done, makeup be done in 20 minutes, y'all. So I'm gonna Go in with the NYX the brow glue. I recently picked this up and I'm in love with it. It tames my eyebrow hairs, it literally plasters them on my face, and that's exactly what I need. My eyebrow hairs are like really, really curly, especially when I let them grow out. OMG, I like to really brush this product into my eyebrows, and after I get the product into the hairs. I'm going to just brush my eyebrow hairs up. If you're actually like me and you kind of want that laminated look, I don't really go for the laminated look all the time, but if that's your vibe, you can get the e.l.f. Brow Lift Applicator. It has like this little spatula end and it literally lays the hairs down. So I like to brush it into the direction that I want the brow hairs to lay. And then with the applicator side, I just do that. And it just gives that laminated look. Love it so much. Like, can y'all see the difference? I love it. It really does tame my brow hairs because I have curly hairs and they curl everywhere. They curl downward, upward. Makes my eyebrows look so messy and they're not really messy. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this eyebrow. Make sure you really get that product into the eyebrow hairs because that's really going to help it lay down later on. If you guys hear anything, I live in New York City. It's getting colder. The heater is on. <laughs> I'm sorry. And it's that chilly, you guys. So I'm not even going to turn it off. But if you do end up hearing that looks sound it won't happen throughout the whole video but if you hear it at some point in the video that's what that is so now that the product is really in there like i have the product on my eyebrows just take my spoolie end of the elf applicator brush it up right like ooh, and then take the spatula end and then just do it like that see now that my eyebrows are plastered and they look much, much neater, I'm going to carve out my brow. I literally just carve out the bottom half. I don't even touch the top anymore, just the bottom. I only do the top of my eyebrow hairs are like are really, really overgrown. They're not that bad today. So for concealer, I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. And this is in the shade Deep. This is probably one of my favorite drugstore concealers. I think I first tried it earlier this year, around like February. I was in shock. No shade. It's neck to neck with my NARS Natural Radiant Creamy Concealer. You guys know favorite concealer but this is a great dupe to it and to cover my brows i'm going to be using my sigma flat definer brush sigma is not a drugstore brand but honestly if you use any flat definer brush i will definitely link some alternatives down below i just take my concealer onto the brush and i literally just carve out my brow it's the easiest process and then now that i carved them out i'm just going to drag that concealer down a bit so when i blend it out it's not really going to interrupt my actual eyebrows this just helps with the blending process into my eyelids and i really do like the consistency of this concealer it's on the thicker side but it's not too thick to the point where it's like oh my god this is so hard to blend out i really like it now to blend this concealer into my eyelid i'm just going to take my real technique i don't even know i think this is my deep deluxe blending brush hopefully this is the right brush the words are no longer on it but everything will be linked in the description box down below so definitely check it out and that's all i'm going to do right now for my eyes i just like to do my eyes first and then my face and then i go back to my eyes for primer i'm going to be using the elf power grip you guys know this is a dupe to the milk hydro grip primer my favorite primer i've been using the milk hydro grip primer for years and when elf came out with their primer everyone's like oh my god it's such a dupe to the milk it's such a dupe to the milk and i tried it and it really is a dupe to the milk like it works the exact same for a fraction of the price it's literally amazing and typically when i do my makeup i don't have hair on my head i literally blend my makeup into my hairline so today's gonna be a bit of a challenge because i have a white headband on but it is what it is i'm gonna let this dry down for a bit before i go on my foundation i like for it to get a bit tacky and it's getting tacky it's time for foundation it dries down pretty fast probably wait like a minute or two before you go in with your foundation just so it could be nice and tacky that's really what's going to help this primer make your makeup stay in place for the rest of the day for foundation i'm going to go in with the milani conceal perfect foundation this was in the shade 15 mahogany i honestly heard about this foundation through tiktok i was like mm, people saying this is really really good and i haven't tried milani in years i'm not even gonna hold you the last milani item that i like 
bought which i like a lip gloss but i never really got into complexion products until recently and you guys this foundation look at it do y'all see hold up because y'all see the hyperpigmentation yeah so good like it works so good it does oxidize a bit throughout the day but it's nothing too crazy for me personally i didn't even tell you guys what brush i'm using i'm using the real technique instapop face brush my favorite brush to use and i pat that foundation into my skin we don't swipe I honestly just keep on patting until everything is well blended do not forget your neck whenever i do complexion i try to get a brush that's tapered and angled like this it just makes the blending process 100 times easier it's so easy to blend this out it's not too much work on your wrist nothing the way that the brush is angled, it just sits on your face perfectly and helps you blend the foundation out. Like, I love it, okay? Love, love, love. And sometimes I like to bring that foundation. Well, not necessarily bring the foundation onto the eyelid, but I like to go over my eyelids with the leftover product that's on the brush. Do you guys see how flawless this looks? Like come on this is a really good foundation i love the color match and it looks so natural so now i'm gonna go back in with this nyx concealer i'm gonna conceal underneath my under eyes the bridge of my nose forehead upper lip the regular degala okay every single time i put this concealer underneath my eyes i just fall in love again it's just so buttery like so smooth for the life of me i cannot find my black radiance chocolate dip and that's my drugstore alternative for my contour and i cannot find it for the life of me i wish i knew this earlier i would have went ahead and picked some up but that's fine we're just gonna reverse contour today with reverse contouring you're just going to place your concealer underneath where you would typically place your contour and when you blend it out it's gonna give you that defined look without you having to actually contour contour your cheekbones and if you're looking at the placement of where i place my concealer and you're like oh my god that's where i place my contour at try to bring up your contour a bit higher you want everything to look lifted so try to place your contour your bronzer a bit higher i like to place it like literally right here and i blend upward and to blend this concealer out i'm going to use my foundation brush this is not what i typically use to blend out my concealer but since we're reverse contouring blend it out with your foundation brush because the leftover product from this brush is going to help blend this concealer out seamlessly as you can see i have like that sculpted look now all because of reverse contouring and i didn't even contour y'all and also don't worry about the harsh lines once we add the powders the setting sprays everything is gonna look good at the end trust me okay to blend out my concealers i alternate between these two brushes all the time i use a real technique setting brush as well as the sephora collection pro foundation brush number 47 i love the size of this because it just makes blending out my concealer so much easier it is a bit pricier do not get me wrong so the more affordable option in my collection is the real technique technique setting brush i just love how this blends my concealer out as well just pat 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 and have a light hand when you're blending this out because you don't really want to lift up any of the product Look at how blended and seamless everything looks. I love it. And typically the only places that I contour are my cheekbones. I do not contour my nose. I don't know. I just feel like whenever I contour my nose, I personally haven't mastered contouring my nose because whenever I do it, I just don't like how my nose looks. Like, I don't know. I don't like it. I'm going to go ahead and set my face for setting powder. I'm going to use the Morphe Bacon Sat Translucent Rich Setting Powder. Recently picked this up as well. You guys know I'm a Laura Mercier girl. I use these powder puffs that I get from Amazon. I used to use the Beauty Blender one and those are like $18, right? Those run up your pockets really, really fast. And and I saw everybody on TikTok talk about these. I'm like, there's no way they're going to be relatively the same quality, y'all. I actually like these better. I like these better. I feel like they make my powder more seamless looking. I love these. So I take the powder puff, right? I dip it into the setting powder like such. And then I blow any excess off right like that and then i set my under eye and blowing the excess powder off is just gonna help your under eye not look cakey it just evenly distributes the powder onto the powder puff press that powder into your under eyes and just repeat the process for everywhere you've applied concealer and this literally yields the best results whenever you're setting your face i cannot set my face any other way i can't set my face with a brush i can't set my face with a beauty blender i literally have to set my face with a powder puff this technique right here a1 i promise you i promise you thank me later and if there is anything over i use my real technique setting brush to brush off any excess powder that is still there trust me it's gonna look crazy before it looks good okay like 
trust the process and i'm gonna set my whole face and i'm gonna use the l'oreal infallible 24 hour foundation powder this is in the shade 390 ebony and i'm gonna use another sephora brush and i will link alternatives in the description box so check it out investing in your brushes will help make your makeup look better but if you are just starting out and you really don't want to invest that much money into brushes because you don't even know how to do it completely understandable by the way my favorite drugstore brand when it comes to brushes is real technique i love their brushes been using their brushes for years i have so many real technique brushes but there are certain brushes that i I just prefer to the real technique brushes i don't want to just be that person that just uses anything because it's drugstore and i need to film this video i'm gonna be honest with you guys if i'm using something that's not necessarily drugstore i'm gonna let you guys know hey it's not drugstore i will link an alternative to it but i prefer this brush i will never get on here and say go get this go get this if i generally don't mean it so yeah but y'all see how this powder looks get a foundation powder and set your face okay as you can see things are starting to look better okay we still have to figure out the under eye situation but things are starting to look better now i'm gonna go back in with my real technique brush make sure there isn't any excess left and then i'm gonna go in with my maybelline fit me powder I'm going back and using my powder puff you can either wipe off the excess setting powder or you can just flip it to the other side and i'm gonna take the puff swipe it a bit and then do the same thing below any excess so everything will be even and just press that into the skin it just makes everything look more seamless i totally forgot that i was going to brighten up my under eye when i brighten up my under eye i used the juvia's place concealer and i definitely forgot that i was going to brighten up my under eye it's too late for that now but for the days i'm looking for a bright under eye look i use the juvia's place eye magic concealer i love this concealer by the way this is in my regular routine not just drugstore i love it and this is in the shade number 10 and if you're someone who likes a brighter under eye you can just go brighter with the powder it's just gonna be a bit harder for you to blend so if you're just now learning i would say for concealers and contours just go one to two shades lighter or darker because it's gonna be easier for you to blend out and i'm gonna blend out the edges with the brush that i use for my powdered foundation just so everything can look seamless and now it's time for bronzer. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Bronzer. This is in the shade Deep Dark. When it comes to bronzers, I look for a plethora of things. I don't like a purple cool bronzer. Hate it. Hate it. And it's already a struggle to find a bronzer that's not purple that's still going to warm me up. This bronzer does a pretty good job. Do y'all see that? Like, do y'all see? It's dark. Don't get me wrong. I know on the pan it looks pretty light, but on the face it really is dark. Don't worry, this is going to be blended out. It's a great bronzer, period. Not drugstore. It's a great bronzer. It is a smidge cooler. Nothing too crazy, though. For this to be at the price point that it is at and the payoff that it gives, I highly recommend. I really do like it a lot. And I'm just going to go in with my Real Technique brush just to blend blend out these edges because I don't want it to look too harsh just blend everything together basically that's really it makeup is really just you putting things on your face and blending it out once you get the hang of blending your makeup out then you're gonna be good to go do you guys see the cheekbones it's giving snatched is it not also by the way this is another <laughs> Sephora collection brush you genuinely do not need to use this brush I actually have a real technique brush that's similar to this brush and I don't know where it's at for some reason. I'm so sorry. It seems like I'm so unprepared for this video. I promise you, I'm not. I thought I had all these things in my makeup bag already, but I can't seem to find it. You don't necessarily have to go and get this brush. Real Technique does make a brush similar to this. I will link everything down below once again. And then I'm going to take some of this bronzer and I'm going to contour my nose and put some of it on my eyelids as eyeshadow. I just love a dark lid bright under eye look. It just eats every single time, okay? Nobody can tell me otherwise. And I like to connect it to my nose contour like that as you guys can see i'm literally brushing and i'm connecting it into my contour can y'all see that blending the bronzer onto the lid and then connecting it to my nose contour and then just brushing downward like that simple and i like to brush some of it right here as well on my nose so this is how we looking like you guys see how applying a bit of bronzer on the sides of my nose really snatched that in yeah this is the most i like to do with my nose but if i were to sit here and try to cream contour my nose oh my god i'm going to hate it i will hate my makeup for the day now i'm gonna take my real technique brush again the setting brush and there's no product on this brush i'm literally just gonna blend the sides together just so it won't be a harsh line literally have a light hand and just blend everything together so now that that is blended i'm gonna go in with blush i've been loving how orange reddish blushes just look on me recently this is the morphe ad palette yes this palette comes with the mirror yes i cracked the palette and i removed the mirror but i'm gonna be using both the blush shades i literally tap between both blush shades and i apply it on i highly recommend this palette this is probably one of my favorite palettes the contour in here yeah i finished it i finished it this contour fire this palette overall is just such a good palette and it's such an affordable price morphe 8d palette amazing i highly recommend and you guys know i will not steer you guys wrong the brush that i'm using to apply my blush is the real technique blush brush and i like to smile and just 
apply it. The payoff, crazy. Like, woo, I love, and boom. Blush is applied, okay? Cheekbones is sitting, okay? Face is sitting, like, come on. This is really how I am, though, when I am doing my makeup. This is the part of my makeup, I'm like, okay, yeah, things are looking good. I'm feeling like I'm at, okay? I'm gonna set my face with setting spray now. So you guys know I'm a Morphe Continuous Mist girl, okay? I love me some Morphe Continuous Mist. We have been locked in for years, you guys. I love to layer my setting spray. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Super Hold Misting Spray. I've heard so many great reviews about this all over TikTok, and I'm like, okay, no, I need to try it. So this is actually my first time trying it. I'm not even gonna hold you, but the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist is just going to melt your makeup into place. Any harsh lines you have, anything that you feel like is not properly blended, this is gonna melt that into the skin and blend it out. Everything is gonna look seamless. That's why I love the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. A1. Literally, cannot live without it. And I love to layer my setting spray. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Super Hold Misting Spray. I've heard so many great reviews about this. It's all over TikTok. And I'm like, okay, no, I need to try it. Today's actually my first time trying it. I'm not even going to cap to you. But I heard so many great reviews about it. I'm like, let me just include it in today's video. This is supposed to uh, make your makeup stay in place all day. Locked and loaded. That's typically how I like to layer my setting sprays as well. I typically have my misting spray and then I have my setting spray. And then after I'm done spraying, I go in with a fan. Because I like to drench myself with setting spray and I don't want it to drip down because that's when your makeup is going to start dripping down. So you have to dry this down as fast as you can. I typically use the blow dryer. But <laughs> my blow dryer is not next to me at the moment. If you guys see that this eye is red, it's because I accidentally got some setting spray into it when I was trying to open my eyes to see where my fan was at. Now that this is partially dry, I'm going to go in with my powder puff and press the rest into the skin. This is also going to help your makeup look more seamless. Now that my face is nice and set, I'm going to go in with some mascara. For me personally, mascara is mascara. I just put it onto my lashes so it can help blend into my falsies, but for me, maybe mascara is mascara. In fact, this is a Fenty Beauty sample. That I got it was like a free little gift it's yeah anything that I have accessible to me so I personally did not feel the need to say him like oh yeah go get this drugstore mascara for me they all work the same don't come for me please now it is time for lashes as of late I've actually been in my no lash era but I love these lashes from AliExpress I'm gonna link it down below there with the two dollars two dollars for the whole pack y'all two dollars for the whole pack i like my lashes to be tapered at both ends not just the inner corner i like it to be tapered in the inner and outer corner i feel like you just lift my eye up i'm gonna put some glue onto my lashes and let them dry down a bit before i put them onto my eye for lash glue i use the dual lash glue this is the pink one as the glue is drying i'm gonna go ahead and do my lips i like to wipe off any powder and for lip liner i'm using the nyx line loud lip pencil in the shade rebel kind I love how the lip liner glides and it's the perfect chocolate brown for me. Like, oh my God. And I like to go with any small brush and just blend this into my natural lip. You can use your fingers. You don't even necessarily have to use a brush. This is just what I've been doing recently. And one thing about this, this dries down fast and it don't budge. It does not budge. And I'm going to do my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie, y'all. Fortune Cookie is that girl. This lip combo eats. Every single time. Oh my god. I'm gonna put my lashes on because they've dried down. And lashes are on. Face is done. This is the end of the video, you guys. This is my drugstore beat. I had so much fun filming this video for you guys. But yeah, this is the face. It's sitting, doesn't decline. Never. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want more makeup content, let me know in the comments down below. I think I want to film my updated makeup routine with like the new everyday products that I use, new techniques that I use. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. I love you, Julian, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.